Go ahead and toe, make sure we're moving correctly. Pick up your knees, Come on, go, go, go! Nice, I'm gonna go right on you. Two, strong! Nice, nice. Knee drops. I like punching people a little bit, but I'm a girl, so I get, they can't like complain if I hit them too hard. Cause then they're like babies. Give right? some speed and close your gut. She's been working really hard, putting put, put in the hours and really grinding. I think she's ready. I think it's a really big opportunity for her and she's ready to capitalize. She's gonna be a star. Paige is the fastest growing star in the sport. Everyone's pumped about Paige and to have her headline in the show right now with the fast improvements she's been making is awesome. There you go, there you go. Keep the thumb up, keep my thumb up. There you go, thumb up. I feel good, especially with today, I felt really good. It's nice when you can like see yourself putting everything all together and you're able to implement the things the coaches have been telling you. It's all about muscle memory, so it's like I've been drilling these things forever and I finally see them paying off. She's gotten light years better. She's not one of those people that you get easy rounds with, you know. Like a lot of people think you, you know, guys partner up with girls, it might be a little easier. It's not. She's a beast. You want this one over this one? So I pull this one, then you. There you go. Stretch me out. Stretch me out. Just go. I've trained with Rose before, and uh, Rose got another thing coming for her. Rose gonna kill her. Want to get right over here? Okay, let's go back over here. It looks like my career has been rushed, but it, for me it hasn't been. You know, this is the perfect moment for me, and every single fight has happened at the perfect moment, and I feel like this fight with Rose is, it's right where it needs to be in my career, and then after I beat her, then I'll be ready for the next fight. I'm not someone who has to talk bad about others to lift myself up. My dad was always the one who was telling me, if you have to brag about yourself, it's because nobody else is bragging for you. So I'm just gonna make sure everyone else is talking about me. Done? Now I gotta go sleep. Oh, hey, Miss. Come on, Miss. <laughs> Are you going to use the bathroom? <laughs> Come on, Miss. Where are you going? Come here. Miss. I'm like I'm done. Hey. Come on. Miss got. For real. She hates that jacket. Come on. Get in. Being a main event is different type of fight. At the same time, it's I gotta treat it like as if, you know, I'm just going in there and it's just having another fight. So it's always the biggest, next biggest fight of your life. Rose is one of the most unique athletes I've ever worked with. She is probably the most talented when it comes to an athletic sense. Oh, <laughs> can't do it. You know when they dribble with the knees? <laughs> Everything she just gets, you know, it's it's fun for a coach uh, when you get to work on uh, new moves and someone just catches it so quick. Usually the week before the fight week, we call it peak week. That can mean a whole bunch of different things depending on where you're at. For me, it's been a five week training camp, so it's a shorter one, but we've amped up the, the volume and the intensity like way high. Now, we just gotta maintain that, get close to the red, but not overdo it. We just gotta make sure that we stay at that peak moment. It's the sacrifices that pay off, and you know, I'm really looking forward to being in Vegas, basically. <laughs> Don't get on the mat. Uh-uh. This is one of the bigger fights that I've done. I'm very fortunate to have come across this one. I think uh, Sage is real young, so that's a big advantage for me. I don't know, I just don't think the kid has a chin. From the looks of it, he's like real rich and stuff. It's He's probably been hand fed, you know, given everything his whole life. Whereas, you know, everything I have, I've worked for. Um, we got a pretty stacked weight division. He's one of the easier guys I could have gotten, so, you know. I'm gonna go put him down, you know, show everybody it's a lot of hype. When Cody first got here, he was able to land punches, but his technique's a little wide, his legs get a little wide, but he's able to land offense and he's really, really aggressive. So I was like, hey, you know, we, we can build on that. If you've got the, the attitude to get in there and, and you're willing to bang, you're willing to come forward, uh, you can have a lot of success in the sport. So uh, luckily for me, Cody's already got the natural aggression to when the lights come on, it's time to go. 
My edge definitely is going to be my experience. I've had twice as many wins as this guy's had fights. I mean, he's been doing karate his whole life, but that's a different sport. I don't think he likes to get hit, so I'm going to hit him a lot. I'm just going to go and take him out, you know. Everybody loses. This is going to be his loss. Cookie right here. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It has protein in it. <laughs> protein cookies. Yeah, they're actually called protein cookies. Mm -hmm. protein. They're good. Protein pancakes. Protein pancakes. My dad's a nutrition yeah. expert. Diet super important. Diet's everything. There's guys out there that fight that aren't the most physically fit. Mm -hmm. You're not the best athletes, but they have really incredible technique. But so until you have the incredible technique, mm -hmm. come to the table with a more physically fit, be in better shape to equalize the person that has more experience that has better technique. Your balance, all I want to do is take you like that. You're uh, slightly off balance, right? Right. Boom. If I add weight, my weight and your weight to that leg, boom. That was better? Yep. That felt better. Yep. Felt stronger. He's been training. He's been doing this walk since he was like double. four or five years old. Sit and walk here. Boom. So he may be young, but experience-wise, he has a lot of it match time and fighting time, and that's kind of what he's been doing his whole life. So he doesn't know any different. The store we're in right now is a Wholesome Nutrition. I started off doing protein shakes since I was little. That's when I first knew them, probably about the age of four and a half or five, when I first started martial arts. They've always helped me out growing up in the karate, everything. Here's some of the trophies. So this picture right here was one of the first tournaments in grappling, I believe. This is my sister. Her name is Colby and she's, she's incredible. Me and her were always training partners, always together doing everything. Look at this kick. That one hurts. <laughs> All these trophies are just starting off at a um, very young age and I was always competing in sport karate and then it changed from karate with wrestling at the same time and wrestling and jiu-jitsu with the karate and, and now it's MMA. So now I'm getting to find the UFC in the octagon. What gets better than that? <laughs>